Young Johnny rode out on a May morning with his buckles and his bridles ringing. And as he rode by the castle wall, he has heard a sweet voice singing. Oh, I'm the little Duke Arthur's nurse, and the post do well become me. But I'd give both of the gay gold rings for a sight and a kiss of me, Johnny. Oh, if you're the little Duke Arthur's nurse, you're my sweetheart, so bonny. Keep well, keep well, you gay gold rings, you shall have two sights of Johnny. So he's lighted him down from the saddle bow. He's given a sweet kiss to her, saying, You have my heart, but another has my hand. So what good can I do you? Oh, if I have your heart, but another has your hand. These words are fair and on me. But let's make a time when we'll meet again, and it's then in love you can twine me. Oh, if you'll go down to the tavern ground, where the glittering lights are beckoning, sure as I'm a woman true, I'll come love and pay a reckoning. Well, he's made good cheer and the good brown beer and the wine he kept on pouring, and at every house was drunk to the last, as was coming to him in the morning. But as he looked out of a straight window, a little before the dawn, it was there he saw her brothers running with their naked swords all drawn. And it's landlady, landlady, what shall I do? My life's not worth a halfpenny. She that was to have lain with me, she has sent her brothers to slay me. Well, the landlady took her petticoats off, likewise her gown and apron, and she's taken the kerchief off of her head, and she set young Johnny to the bacon. For she's given him a suit of the female clothes, so it's he's made a pretty fine maiden. And the birds never sang so sweet in the trees as young Johnny sang at the bacon. And it's there as they stood in the tavern door, they have rattled their swords about him. And it's there as they stood on the kitchen floor, so loudly they were shouting, saying, Did you have a lodger come last night? Drunk till the dawn was beckoning. Come show us the room where your lodger is laid. We've come to settle his reckoning. Well, there came a stranger here last night, but not to drink till morning. He called for a glass and he paid ere he left. He was long gone, John, ere the morning. But they turned the feather beds all round and about, and the curtains, their swords were raking. And as they ran in, and as they ran out, it was half bonny lassie, are you there again? And one of them being in a very merry mood, to young Johnny he sat talking. The old woman, she comes in and she gives him such a kick, she says, get on, Annie, with your bacon. And I, as the landlady ran in and out, she has scolded till her ears were aching. She says, I've had this many's the maid, but it's none the likes of you with the bacon. Well, they turned the house up, and they turned the house down, and the crockery and plates were breaking. And it's every one of them as they left that in. They kissed the bonnie lassie at the bacon. <laughs>